Hello there, Eruner here and today we will talk about Salamis in multiplayer battles. Salamis is one of the harder factions, but when played well, it will be very good counter to many factions and results might be very good and strong. So how to play this faction? So let's start with um, hero. Usually we shall bring a fighter ravager because of the blood sacrifice and terrify. I do not recommend using Ajax because this boulder is usually missing the target and Ajax is not so good in dwelling. Then we got I will feature Island Spearmen in this uh, video because they are pretty good thanks to this expert charge defense and you must play around this ability. This fodder unit is going to uh, help you a lot. Uh, maybe we are just maybe they are just slightly better than spearmen but we are going to use them uh, very efficiently. Next very special unit uh, is Island Club Warriors and we are going to use Unspotable. They are invisible, hidden from enemies when they are moving and we are going to use it in battles as well. Then I recommend bringing two Salamis Marines, you cannot bring more and they are very good. They have ability that gives them speed but it's costing the, a lot of defense, so use it just for maneuvering or chasing enemy units. Then, then we go with the, we got the map, quite open map, so we really want to bring chariots, at least just one chariot. And then I will tell you the best missiles of this roster. You can always bring Echian Slingers, but I highly recommend bringing two Veteran Locklean Slingers. And next, a very good missile unit will be Loyal Chromis. Uh, there are many options to choose from Paragons. Uh, Dutiful Afareus is very good and mobile. You will have a lot of fun and success with it and it is very strong against many different things or you can imp bring improved giants they are just like giants but much stronger and very good against spears and heroes as well so we got harpies or the better version than, than harpies with the perfect vigor they are not losing stamina. Then we got heavy cavalry, which is kind of a fi favorite unit, but I do not recommend because we got better units. Not this one, even though it's very valuable. And we got unwavering Leucos, just like com companions of Sarpedon, but very good, very solid, and with battlefield healing. And yes, the best unit in the game, Glorious Neoptolemus, the best Myrmidon in the game, even better than Myrmidons, with insane stats, uh, unbreakable and a lot of damage. So, we got Paragons, we got the best unit, we can bring one more unit, A Ajax Companions. I recommend using these because they are very good against spears and have. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. So, HX companions, you are going to use reckless charge only when you are going to maneuver or win the duel and ch and chase enemy, or you will be using charge defense to hold the ground. Let me show you how to play the Salamis and how to play it to the strength of this faction. 
since this uh, this is very versatile roster, you can adapt to different army compositions. And let's start with with our front line. It will be standing still. On sides we can use some surprise units and in middle we want to have our missiles so we will force enemy to come into us then we got chariots because this is very open terrain and we can bring let me show you with spears on back with, with shields on back we got 46 47 speed which is very nice and tons of damage or maybe we can use it as a, a reserve unit just like Ajax companions to dwelling expensive enemy units then we got Salamis marines I like to use them as flankers and on the start of the battle I will use reckless charge to quickly move on the battlefield so we can play on the open field or we can choose and go into the forest and then we got our hero that will be supporting our Mirbitons and Ajax companions okay so let's say that typical battle has started let's use turbo button and move our units forward keep your chariot and mirbitons closer but be aware of enemy missiles and look at this range 180 90 range and also here 180 range you will be outranging enemies you want them to come close to you and if they are not moving then you just move slightly forward come on guys and so on so very important thing is on the front line you can use the guard mode be sure they are stationary and not running around not chasing your enemy units so we can utilize expert charge defense and then don't forget about flankers they will be very important in your battles so that would be it thanks and good luck in your battles see you later